Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I'm sitting on the counter of my lemonade stand. Actually, this isn't a lemonade stand, this is a scaffolding that I built last year to cut some trees to get up a little bit higher with the ladder. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be concentrating sunlight with water. And I've got a couple different things that I'm going to show you. On top of this, I put a clear plastic tarp. It's a really thick plastic. And we're going to fill it with water so that it makes a shape and we're going to see if we can get a good focal point out of it. I'm also going to be showing you some interesting ways of concentrating sunlight with bottled water. One thing worth noting about this is that this only works when the sun's pretty much directly overhead. So this won't work in the winter time if you're in Florida like we are. And if you're in a really extreme northern area, it's not going to work either because you pretty much have to have the sun directly overhead. The reason this doesn't work at an angle is because you just can't get water to stay in one position. Gravity's doing this. So as the water comes in, it creates this lens, which right now still has about a pretty hefty 10 foot focal length. You can see that the focal point is actually right there. So what I'm gonna do is take this black piece of garbage bag and stretch it across there, see what happens. All right, now what I've done is I've taken a piece of wood with a little black spray paint in there. That way there's an area for it to, uh, to absorb some of the light because black absorbs sunlight better. And this has been on there for about three minutes, so I'm going to get some readings. You can see that part of the wood already is 240 degrees just from that lens up above us. All right, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to show you a cool little trick with a bottle like this. Uh, if you're ever stranded and you need to maybe start a fire, this is just a regular water bottle with that shape. We'll see what happens. There's a leaf. Anyways, you can see what we did to the leaf. I don't know if it's going to... It does work, actually, if you don't have that crap to deal with, but... While we've been waiting for the sun, I added some more water up there, and we have a pretty big lens now. It's probably easy three foot in diameter, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so I added some more water to this while there was a cloud over and I thought that that would shorten the focal length because it's thicker now and oddly enough, now the focal length is a full 10 foot away. So, obviously something odd's happening up there, but you can see. This 
it's pretty incredible. All right, so we haven't had much luck with our water bottle test or our water lens igniting anything, but if you put the two together, I'm going to get a temperature reading on this and see what these two together are producing. Wow. It's all over the place. Six hundred and eleven was the highest that I got, so. So we were able to get a couple things going with these two experiments. These two together actually work pretty good. This does work by itself. Um, it just takes not a lot of wind and it's kind of tricky to get this particular bottle to be in the right position. If you make something like this, just to demonstrate, make sure you take the water off of it when you're done and don't ever put a clear tarp on top of anything because uh, when the sun comes out, that water stays up there. You can actually burn stuff up. Same thing with uh, any round things, fish bowls, um, dog bowls that are clear, glass bowls. You don't want to leave those elevated out in the sun because anything round will produce a focal point with water in it. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. One simple thing that you can do when you construct something is add braces like this. These braces add a ton of stability and it actually, you can move this around like nothing. Without those, what I did was I took these vertical braces off so we could have a nice square when I did this and you can see how if you start this area that's not good right there so when those braces are in like that that won't happen we put this on pretty much everything that we have anything that stands they really help out a lot and they give it tons of strength Go, boo boo. You're go. You you walk in. The, you got black fur. Okay. You walk in that line, and you're gonna be in trouble. Go, go. Psst. It's kind of hazy out. It's not really a good sunny day, believe it or not. But you can see with the black plastic that with this amount of sunlight, absolutely nothing happens. I hate clouds. I really do. So our experiment is 